Hey guys, and welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install AOL Instant Messenger in 2022. And yes, it does in fact work. It's, it's, it's cool as someone who never used it because I'm 15 years old, so why would I? But other than that, I think it's cool. I mean, I like old technology, so let's get right into it. So, firstly, you're going to want to go to your web browser. This works on Windows 10, too, but I'm just using XP because it's... It's classic. It's beautiful. It's also a virtual machine. Ignore the bar on the bottom. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a virtual machine. But, oh, Mom, by the way, if you're watching this, can we both mutually agree to ignore the, the time in the bottom corner? It's actually 4.56. I don't know why the clock says that. I'm gonna move this forward real quick, but <laughs> can we both agree to uh, ignore that? Ignore that time. Thanks. Anyway, uh, the place where you're gonna where you're gonna find this replacement for AOL. Well, not really replacement. Kind of a reimagining, aka just custom server for it, which is honestly pretty cool. Is iWarg or i w a r g dot d if i can type dot ddns dot net and i know what you're thinking i thought the same thing too ah oh, ddns looks a lot like ddos oh my god i'm gonna be hacked nope um although there is a lot of like the server the server i'm gonna say this now it's not the most protected so when you make your when you make your account Use a frickin' burner password, please. 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 It's been hacked many times. That's actually why I'm making this video, is because... Michael MJD made a video- I'm logging out so I can show you what to do. Michael MJD made a video on this a while ago, but when the server got hacked for the first time, he deleted it. So, I'm making it so you can see how it works. And yes, I did make two. One of them was, in fact, a 2009 version, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to log in here. And yes, it is my old username. What a shame. Garbage username. Uh, dark times, dark times. But whatever. Anyway, make an account or log in. I'm assuming, since you're watching this video, you're going to be making an account. Go to Downloads. And I think the most wildly supported, wildly, widely supported version is version 5.1. So you want to download that one. I think that's the most stable one because I think 5.9 and 6.0 are broken on Windows 10. So 5.1 is the one that most people are on from what I originally could tell. I stopped using it for a while, but I'm pretty sure 5.1 is what every everyone is on. So I would suggest downloading that version. Save file, save it to your normal downloads folder. Shouldn't take too long to download. And open it up. It'll be in your downloads folder where you decided to download it, just like normal. Should be right, I'm pointing at the wrong thing, right here. Ignore the cat, we're ignoring the cat. Right here. Double click it, open it up, and it should look like this. Even on Windows 10, I think it still has this like classic blue to black gradient, which is cool. Blast from the past. <laughs> anyway, uh, so license agreement, hmm, totally read that. Press yes, press next. Uh, you should have enough space. <laughs> uh, I think. The option that I remember you should click, and this is the one that's always worked for me, is I am permanently connected through a LAN. Just leave it on United States. The zip code does not matter. I'd like to do the funny number. Two funny numbers. This, yeah, I, I'm assuming you probably don't want it, but this is a VM, so I don't care. Ready to install. You are now ready to install AOL Instant Messenger. Press on the next button to begin the installation, or the back button to re-enter the installation information. Boom. Just install it. Shouldn't take too long. And press OK. 
Would you like to make OLS well, a messenger? Um, I don't think this matters because it's not 1995. So just do yes or no, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Then when you get to here, press cancel. Go to setup, connection, and the same thing from before, iwarg.dd. D D F D D D N I'm tired. D D N S dot net. Press OK. OK. Type in your username and password from before. Even typing this just gives me PTSD from plush videos, which I used to make. But ignoring that, or ignoring that blunder in life, that's the wrong password. Again, use a burner password. I forgot what password I was using when I started typing the normal one. <laughs> nope, put in the burner. You can keep on save password, not a login. I think they both function properly. Press sign on. And welcome to the 90s. Woo! Uh, yes. Cancel. I think that breaks the app, so don't use that. And welcome to the past. You got your buddy list. I'm gonna put this in the background as a nice plug for my website. Um, but yeah, works just like it did in the past. Not a lot of people use it nowadays. All these people are offline. That's like an alt account I made. But you can invite some of your friends to this, send them this video. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Install it as if you were doing it back in, like, 1990 or whatever. 19, not 1990, I forget. I think. Eh. Uh, 1996 to 2002 is, I guess, when this version came out. But, yeah, works like normal. You can message yourself, you can say, bruh. And you say it, you say it right back to yourself. As if you can pretend you have friends by spamming messages to yourself and making the servers over at Phoenix uh, fry and explode. Don't spam the servers, by the way. I did that twice already. One in the one in the 2009 version of this video and one in the one in the this version. I would suggest not spamming the servers. I already feel bad anyway, so I'm gonna close this. But that's how you do it. It's really simple to install. It's over here on the desktop now. Free AOL and unlimited internet. No way! Wow, it's gonna send me to the new AOL. Don't want that. Um... Go ahead and just get rid of that real quick. But yeah, that's how you install AOL Instant Messenger in... Yeah, it's functional too. Don't, don't forget about that. In 2022. Make sure to share this to your friends if you want them to come join you. Join you in this classic, classic era of the internet. And like, comment, subscribe. I almost said like, like, favorite, and subscribe. I got into the, I got into the, to the classic YouTube mood. I was about to say like, favorite, and subscribe. No. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this to people that you want to join you. And if you enjoyed it, I already said subscribe. Damn it, I'm getting, I'm getting repetitive. I always do this. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.